Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there that may be listening. We just a few brothers from the SF Bay Area camp. I'm the brother Chsaba, and I got the brother with me. Kanak. And uh, this lesson come to you through the spirit and power you have by Shemel Shai. The Lord allowed us to get to get uh, to get together again and make a, you know, another lesson through the spirit. Lord as well as edifying into the lake. We're just going to jump right into it. OK, con, con. this is uh, second Ezra 15 and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Yep, and that's, and that's ultimately what we're doing. OK, we're speaking unto our people via these videos going out on the internet and us being out on those street corners okay we're telling you the words and the counsel of yahweh basham yahweh shai okay we got it it says and, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true mm -hmm. and we seeing is faithful and true by us seeing these prophecies okay we're seeing the things that the lord yahweh basham yahweh shai said he was going to do before we were even born and these things are coming to pass, all right, in our in our time, you know, and, and the prophecies that have already come to pass before we were born, and the prophecies mm -hmm. that will come to pass that that we will continue to see, you know. It says, "Fear not the imagination against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." Yeah, a lot of that incredulity coming from you know our people, the majority of our people, uh, you know, they they won't believe. OK, because Yahweh Shai has not revealed himself unto them, you know, so the incredulity them that that unbelief Yahweh Shai has revealed himself to a, a, a very select few, you know, his elect. So those are going to be the ones to retain it. You know, we can't allow their unbelief to to sway our mind in, in any type of way, you know, to allow us to fret. Yep, it says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yep. So if the, hey, you don't believe, it's okay if you don't believe. It's, it was prophesied that you wasn't going to believe, okay? And, and, and the prophecy goes into your destruction as well, okay? The scriptures say, he that believeth not is condemned already, you know? So we, we're, we're not going to lose sleep on those that can't get it, man. We just, we're going to keep putting this message out and we're going to move on. Yeah. Yeah, verse 5, behold, said the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I will, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah, and that, and this is this is this is some of what we're seeing right now. Okay, and this is gonna happen on a, on an even greater scale. The more time goes by, every day that goes by, we're wrapping closer to what what, what you would call Jacob's trouble. Okay, mm -hmm. and Jacob's trouble entails the destruction of, uh, you know, not just Jake. Okay, but but everybody in America. Okay. Cause you gon' these bad times is coming for for all the inhabitants of America, okay? Uh, you got it. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, the the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, okay? And we read about how the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai got down in the ancient time, okay? Regarding wickedness, how he put he 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 nipped it in the bud. OK, but because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, these people are, are completely fully set in their mind. OK, to, to do wickedness. But we're hey, we're in that time where the Lord is, is tired of it. OK, and he's going to bring a speedy riddance to it by way of his judgments that he's going to be sending out. Mm -hmm. Let me continue. It says, therefore, said the Lord, I will bring I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Mm -hmm. Which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, so so the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai, it, it, ultimately you you being destroyed is is for the betterment of, uh, of your own good. You know, you destroy yourself with the things that you do in the flesh that's displeasing. Okay, the 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 consequence of sin is death. Okay, sin bringing forth death. Could you read that again for me, Baba Kasha? Yeah, it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, and, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shah, is not holding his tongue, okay, by way of him him lifting up his men, okay? And, and, and his men are, are showing a different way, and we are a... a, a 
a walking example of, of their condemnation because we walk separately. We walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. OK, so it begins with with the Lord lifting up his men to, to consume you with the spirit of his mouth. This word is likened unto a double edged sword. OK, and then that 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 judgment is going to go forth after. OK, the Lord, you know, attempts to correct you, you know, t tell you about yourself before he got to intervene, you know. Yep, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. Mm hmm. Yep. Go, going going back into the Lord. How about Shai, uh raising raising his men? OK, his men would be the one uh, would be crying. OK, crying unto him for, for, for all the uh, abominations. OK, and the Lord, how about Shai, Shai is going to hear it? Well, that's actually the spirit. I got a precept real quick. I was holding this uh, when we first started. Uh, okay, kind, kind. This Ezekiel nine and four. It says, "And the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof." You got it. Yep. So that that uh that mark upon the foreheads is that thawa, which is that exemption from judgment. Okay, we have separated ourselves. Okay, in, in, in the spirit first, we have separated ourselves. Okay, the Lord will, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has really separated us. Okay, so that that judgment can fall upon those that, you know, that, that remain in, in disobedience. Okay, mm -hmm. it says, and to the others, he said in mind hearing, go. If I could say something too, because I, I got a precept to go with that. Okay. Even with 2nd Andrew 15, where it says, um, the, the, go ahead, read that again, Bogusha. Okay, Ezekiel nine the, and four. Yeah. And the Lord Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai said unto him, "Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all." The right. The point. The point is the men that sigh and that cry. Go ahead. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right. Just as the brother was going in the second Ezra fifteen, we were reading. The Lord raising up his men not to hold this really the Lord not holding his tongue no more. So people are being confronted and they're they're being uh, rebuked and corrected and reproved and ultimately judged through the um through the, the most high setting up his men. Okay. So there's men out there that are that are uh sighing and crying. That's the uh, the righteous blood also. Uh, crieth unto me or the, the 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 souls of the just complain continually but you got it. you can keep going bro okay it says and to the others he said in mine hearing go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity okay for for, for what for those who are not sighing and crying because you not sighing and crying okay and saying something about it shows that you don't have a problem with it okay and that, and that you're okay with the state of the world that's going on around you. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, is going to count you as, as among one of them. Okay? It says, Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were... Right. Come come not any... Uh, um, read that part again about the, uh, yep. who has that mark. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Look at that. So the angels got a um, a command, right? To go out and slay those that really, that don't have the mark, but those that have that mark, that exempts in the judge, that the wa, which is that, that spiritual a mark of the most high, don't come near them. So what does that mean? That means protection. That means protection of, you know, of the believers, men, women, and children. You got you got children that are that are being born right now that are allotted to be delivered. They fall under that household, just as Noah, his household fell under his his belief, his works. Okay, uh, Lot, Lot, his uh, his uh, his works, his his faith, and but we do know that you know the woman. Lots of women, she she turned back. So you so hey, you might not be with the woman, okay, uh, that you're with now. All right, and uh, in the very near future, uh, Jacob trouble amplifies. 
she might look back. She she might take the MOTB. She might even take the children to get the MOTB. Okay, but the Lord, He's gonna protect those that have that exemptions from judgment. Those that are sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst. And who's doing that? Who's doing that? And 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 making it make sense through the scriptures, through prophecy. There's only one group of people that are doing that. Everybody else are uh, are complicit. You have certain people that are sighing and crying for certain things. You know, uh, you know the, the the food prices are too high, or they don't want the World Economic Forum pushing policies in their country. But they're okay with you know um, you know the men with men. You know the the, whole, the uh, LGBTQ. They're okay with that agenda. They might not want you to do drag show. Um, drag show uh, time, story time with their, you know, with five year olders, right? But uh, uh, they they still uh, support, you know, gay marriages. So they don't really got, they don't got it. They're not speaking out against evil. The scriptures tell us to hate the evil and love the good. So all forms of evil, we are supposed to hate, and not only hate, we are supposed to speak out against it through the spirit. Okay, hate doesn't mean you go out and you beat people up, and you know this is the this is how Esau makes it seem. Okay, through its witchcraft, or you hate, you know, you hate you hate somebody, or you hate a group of people, and, and now you're you're you know you're gonna do something. Nah, just just you know, uh, Esau hates. What about that? What about all his hate that he shows? He might not come out and tell you he hates, but he shows you through his action. All right, you were uh, done there, right? Yeah, yeah, that was all. Okay, cool. Let me bring this out uh, to go go with those precepts, and we'll go back to Second Ezra fifteen, okay. uh, which is going into what Jacob's trouble, and we're in a hopeful year of Jacob's trouble as the elder apostle to hard coin this year through the spirit of Yahba Shemal Shai, and thing things are turning up um, even more more so than two thousand twenty three. And, you know, when we came into 2020, that was like really a turning point in prophecy being sped up. And from that point, things have gotten progressively worse. Even so, you have more people that don't even know that they're Israelites, don't even consider themselves to be Israelites. Edomites, other nations saying, what the hell is going on? Something's different. You know, more stress, more hell than ever. So this is sec, uh, Isaiah 62. And, and this is why well, it's going to go into it. We, we're not going to hold our rest. Uh, uh, Lord's will, the most I keep that spirit upon us. Because of all the all the, the wickedness and evil that's going on in the earth. Somebody got to speak out against it. Somebody has to condemn it. And the Lord set up men to do that, to do so. Isaiah 62. And you can, you can break this down, brother. Okay. Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, okay? So amongst our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, have set up watchmen, okay? The, the, the spiritual the spiritual weathermen, okay, to tell you what, what's, to, what's to happen, man, what, what's to come via the Lord, via the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. You got it? Okay. It says, <clears throat> which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Mm -hmm. Ye them. Mm -hmm. yep, you, you can see that by way of, okay, how diligent brothers are, okay? Videos going up constantly, okay? Over, overwhelming the YouTube platform, okay? You know, br brothers out there every single week, man, okay? You got it? Yep, it says, Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Mm. Yep, yep. Keep keep not silence, man. And that's and ultimately that's 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 the state that we're in right now. Okay, we're not keeping silence. We're seeing the state of the whole earth, and we calling out to the Lord to 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 end this shit, man. Okay, to bring forth a righteous rulership because during a righteous rulership, okay, th things things will prosper. Okay, in this society ran by Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom, everything is deteriorating, okay? Every day things are deteriorating, okay? he His rulership is proven that he's not fit to rule. We calling out to the Lord, how about Shem El Shai, to bring this man out of power, okay? And, and, and to bring forth the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, 
right it says and give him no rest till he establish until he makes jerusalem a praise in the earth mm -hmm. so you got the lord mm -hmm. yeah you gotta you gotta constantly you gotta constantly fight okay fight fight the good fight of faith man Okay, don't let this world try to distinguish your, your flame in the Lord. How about Shem Yahshai? The scriptures say to be zealous, okay, to pray without ceasing. Okay, get a Lord. How about Shem Yahshai? No rest until he establish. Okay, because because why, man? We're, we're, we're still in this low estate. Okay, we're, we're, we, we've been put on punishment. This was not meant for the Israelites being in America. This was not meant for us to be here forever. Okay, this, this is something temporary. Okay, this this is where we serve our punishment for for our sins and our iniquities, the things that we've done against the Lord. How about Shem Al Shai? Okay. Mm -hmm. The Lord has sworn by His right hand and by the arm of His strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies, and the sons of strangers shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. And that's pretty much it on that. I, I don't want to go into that. Um. Let's go back to uh, Second Ezra. That's just going in how the Mosai he's gonna uh, save and deliver his his elect eventually through through this time of trouble, and he's gonna set them up on high over all nations, and not allow the the curses to you know come back to the Israelites and, and destroy the Israelites. Our uh, punishment is over. All right, Second. Ezra 15 and and 9 and therefore said the Lord I will avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them mm. yep see that's why it's important to continue to cry out okay not not get weak you know don't let don't let it be a day where you're not praying to the Lord how about Shem Yal Shai at least sending up one, one curse a day man okay because the Lord how about Shem Yal Shai he's saying he's gonna surely revenge his elect okay the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai knows the state that we're in, okay, in the state of a, a servitude, having to get up on an alarm clock and, and, and go work for this devil, man. The Lord knows what we're going through, but that's why you cried to the Lord. We 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 did ultimately all the hell that's put upon us is for us to cry out unto the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, not for us to just you know just to be quiet, man. We we were not we were not put on this earth to 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 serve these other nations, man. Okay, these other nations was put on the earth to serve us. You know, and the Lord's yep. gonna the Lord's gonna make it back right, man. Just continue to cry out unto Him. You got it. It says, "Behold, my people." It says, "Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof." Yep, America is going to be ultimately destroyed, okay, through thermonuclear destruction, okay? And the Lord Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is going to deliver his people as he did uh, in, in ancient Egypt. But see, this time, his people are the ones who are obedient unto him, okay? Those who are considered his people as of now. Those who are obedient and, and that fear the Lord Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, okay? We gonna, we, Lord's will, we're going to be delivered out of here, man, okay? While everybody that, that was complacent and everybody that trusted in, in, in America... Okay, they're going to be destroyed right with it, man. You got it? Mm-hmm. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn. And, and, and Egypt, this is not speaking about ancient Egypt. This is, speak, uh, this is speaking about uh, spiritual Egypt. One scripture that uh, is a precept is Revelation 11 and 8. Mm -hmm. Okay, so spiritual Egypt is going to be smitten with plagues as before. And we know we can read in the scriptures uh, in the book of Exodus how uh, Egypt was plagued with all sorts of, of deadly plagues uh, upon the Egyptians. And this is what's happening to this very day. You got, uh, you know, energy, uh, what's it called? Uh, Esau can control the, 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 the weather. So you got weather weapons that he's using against inhabitants of spiritual Egypt, America. You have uh, biologic. He's using biological warfare against you people. Okay, he's using um, psychological warfare against you people. 
Okay, he's going to use food as a weapon. Okay, he's going to weaponize your emotions. He's going to weaponize certain movements. Okay, Black Lives Matter. He's weapon. Oh, he rep he weaponized uh, the Democrat and the Republicans. They hate each other, and they're getting ready to duke it off this year, 2024, so-called election year. Okay, which who who even knows who the the Dem are the Democrats? Like nobody even knows who's running. Is Biden's is he running again? They're not even talking about it. Okay, it's Trump, 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 and he's a he's a, a hotbed of controversy. So this thing is this thing is is, is getting ready to be, uh, uh, you know. Well, Yahweh Shai said, "I come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled?" Yeah. I mean, it's already started. Okay, the plagues upon spiritual Egypt, America, has already started. Your infrastructure breaking down, flooding in San Diego. If San Diego don't flood, okay, cold, cold snaps, record heat, you know, Egypt shall mourn, see, Egypt, meaning the uh, uh, America shall mourn. You can go online and you can look at the different uh, video compilations of people tired and sick, sick and tired of the Western world, sick and tired of the, the, the so-called american dream it was, it was really a nightmare even a white woman the white the white woman is sick and tired so you know you know there's something up okay you know these people are feeling it they're they're, they're you can just see it on their face they're just going through the motions and they're one event away from just losing it egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. And we're not even in, the Most High hasn't even really turned things up yet. He hasn't really turned the full dial. Like when you cook your food, you got, you got low, you got medium low, right? You got a, a, a medium high, you got high, right? You got these different dials, one through what, 10, one through nine, right? The Most High hasn't really turned his... We're not even at medium yet. Okay? So, e Egypt, the these American people, they're going to they gonna feel it. And and Jacob's, uh, Jacob's a part of that too. Well, Jacob's trouble. Who's going to be in mo the most trouble? You Israelites. All right? You're the most susceptible group. You so-called blacks. You black and brown. Okay? You Native Americans. You, you Latinos, Hispanics. Okay, you Negroes. Okay, you you don't if your if your house floods, you don't have money. You don't have sixty thousand dollars. That a client is 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 uh, is house flooded. Fifty calls them fifty thousand. You don't have that type of money to, you know, to eat that. Okay, you don't have sellers, a uh, 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 food packed away. Okay, you 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 live in paycheck to paycheck. You 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 pretty much driving your car always on E. Because you gotta put in five, ten dollars, fifteen dollars here and there. So when this trouble comes, when this place completely breaks down, you're gonna be mourning before Esau's gonna be mourning. They that till the ground shall mourn. This is speaking about the farmers. For their seed shall fail through the, the blast and the hell and with fearful consolation. Um, you got it, bro. I'm going to read 14. You can continue to break it down. We're just going to read some more. And we, I just kind of want, let's read all the way to, um, let me see. We can read to maybe like 24 or something like that. 20. Uh, uh, no, let me see. About 19, maybe a little bit more. About, about we'll read to 19. You know, that's the point there. And then, you know, we can get other scriptures. If you want to get some more scripture, we can maybe go to second or 16 and read a couple scriptures there. This is all speaking about this, this time of trouble. Uh, verse 14, woe to the world and, and them that dwell therein. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That woe, that woe means destruction. Okay. That woe means death, death and destruction. Okay. Nothing good. You know, read that again, Baba Kusha. 
Yep. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draws nigh. Yeah, the the modern day the modern day sword is the gun, man. Okay, and your your destruction draws nigh. What the what the scripture say? When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. The, yep. While y'all living in La La Land, okay, things are happening behind the scenes that's that's gonna entail some some very bad times for for you uh for you Americans, man. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and you Jake's amongst these Americans, like like the brother said, you Jake's is gonna be the ones to feel it. Okay, you're living paycheck to paycheck, you know, you barely got nothing, you know. So so the majority of this trouble is gonna is gonna hit home for you, man. Okay, and and it's drawing nigh every single day that goes by. We're nearing closer and closer to your demise, to your calamity, to your destruction. Okay, you got it. Yep. And one people shall stand. Well, the writing is on the wall. Anybody with two eyes and one nose and two ears can see what's going on. But Jake, Jake is, you know, dead out here. They, you know, they have they have no clue. And you got a lot of Edomites that don't. The majority of the earth really don't know to the entail of what's getting ready to come. What we say, they don't, they can't even take these words what we're saying because what we're saying, like bro, we just we're just com completely condemning this place. We're, you know, so they ain't trying to hear what we got to say, you know, because there's no there's no hope for the two thirds. Right. There's no hope for Esau, Edom. there's no hope for these these other these other nations. So what we speak to them is is death. To our people that, you know, um, of the hopeful elect, we speak life. This is good news to us. This is bad news to the rest of the world. So it's like who can who can stand in front of the 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 mouth of the Lord, right? Who can who can stand in the presence of the Lord? You're gonna get burned up. Yeah, yeah. Like I said in Jeremiah, uh, how the Lord said He's gonna make His words as fire, and the people stubble. Mm. And that's exactly what it's doing. It, 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 it's it's burning these people up. Cause we're 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 pretty much prophesying their destruction. But on the same time as that, Esau Edom is is heralding in his new world order, which means the people's destruction. So they're so it's they're in a a, a very uh, a bind right now. Okay, you got the wicked elite that want to destroy them, and then here it is they want to try to turn to God, and then they, they you know, then we tell them that the Most High God he he's going to destroy it. So they ain't trying to hear what we got to say, but eventually it's going to catch up to you and it's going to overtake you. It's going to overtake you like a whirlwind. It's going to come suddenly, for the sword and destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that the, hey, the modern day sword is a gun, man. Okay, you gonna have you gonna be having gunfights, okay, and, and ultimately uh, uh, neighbor against neighbor, so to speak. Uh, the scriptures say, bec uh, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, and when them bullets run out of the guns, you are gonna be seeing a lot of these these ancient medieval looking weapons. Okay. Ma the people with machetes in their hands and, and and the bats with the nails in it. Okay, it's it's gonna be we going we're coming into some crazy times, man. Okay, man and no and what does say? Uh, man shall not have pity upon his neighbor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. We go back. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I'm jumping the gun. It say that 19. <laughs> okay, you got it. Yep. It says uh, read verse 18 again. For because no uh sixteen. Sixteen, yeah, sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. It says, They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, so they these people just gonna be out here, man. Okay, they just gonna be doing they gonna be doing whatever, man. It's gonna be all out anarchy out here, man. All right, and, and sedition is uh, it's 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 a, a rise, it's a rise against the government. Um, let me see. It says in uh, Bible Kachuk, could you read that again? Yeah, it says, "For there shall be sedition among men, mm -hmm. invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power." Yeah, it show you, it show you a lot of that in uh. Uh, they they've made many purge movies, man. 
okay? They show you, they show you how it's gonna be, man, okay? Invading one another, you know, running up in people's houses, taking taking goods, taking people, you know? We, we come into some, into some, hey, man, come to some crazy times. Uh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the prophet Ezra, he saw this as well as the other, other prophets and the Most High had them write it in, in a book. We read it earlier for, uh, write it in a book for they are faithful and true, but the prophecies. And this is part of it, the, the, the destruction. See, the, this world has, uh, you know, a, uh, a, a skewed, a skewed, uh, view, viewpoint, okay, of the Most High and how the Heavenly Father gets down. Here it is, it's major judgments that go forth every single day. Okay, and they they can't understand that there's a higher power that's doing it. They try to disassociate that with a higher power. Then in the same sentence, they'll say God controls everything. So these people don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, and we're here to tell you, but hey, we're here to tell you know whether you 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 listen, all right, or you you know you forbear. Okay, as it says in Ezekiel. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, so this great time of evil is is upon us. It's it's, it's you know mounting, it's mounting up, if you will. It's it's turning up. Okay, we're we're in that time. We're, we're literally in the time of uh, of Jacob's trouble getting ready to take off. Okay, it's going to be a major. Uh, we going we looking for a major event to happen. Okay, there's going to be a major event that's going shake this world and give Esau Edom an excuse to bring in his draconian law okay to bring in his martial light law okay and to destroy people okay without you know with really little to no uh resistance okay yeah I, I'm gonna read this real quick uh just this uh definition of sedition it says conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or a monarch. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so these people are just gonna be out here completely uh, lawless, man. Okay, do do doing whatever. It said they shall not regard their uh, their kings nor princes. They not they're not gonna be, you know, thinking thinking about uh, the laws of thou uh, uh, you know uh, the different laws of Esau's system. Man, they just gonna be doing whatever, man. You know. It, they, they, uh, they ain't gonna, they ain't nobody gonna have nothing, all right. So, so the ones that that's willing to 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 go get it, okay. And you you got a lot of sick individuals, man. People that you walk past in your day to day, you know. Uh, uh, I be saying this at one point. Um, what's what's the nigga name, man? The, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. He'll be seen as a as a normal person. You'll see walking uh walk. You will walk past him in the street, you know, and not think nothing of it. But the whole time, it's a, it's a sick. We we getting ready to come into some times where these people are about to be released, okay? On you everyday people that's living in La La Land, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them them spirits, them spirits created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. You know, they're 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 waiting for their uh uh you know their release date, if you will. Mm -hmm. Their go ahead. All right, ready, go. Well, it says they shall be ready upon earth. Right when the when the Most High when the Most High need them, he, he, he activate them sleeper cells. Let's look at the word sleeper cell, sleeper cell. Meaning, just bear with me. Okay, sleeper cell. It says a group of people sleepers who inconspicuously remain dormant in a community until activated. By a pre-arranged signal to perform acts of espionage, sabotage, or terrorism. Right, because these spirits is created to terrorize you. Right? So you got sleeper cells. And that's also on a physical aspect, you have these uh military age men coming across the border from China, from Tibet, from uh India, Pakistan, you see them from Africa. From all these third world countries, they they coming over even in Central and South America, all right, to uh, ultimately be destroyed, take part in the destruction of Babylon, meaning help the destruction. They might be sleeper cells from China, sleeper cells from Iran, Hezbollah, 
right? Hamas, right? To be activated. And then you also, you have, which they, they're, you know, they're being controlled by the, the spirits created for vengeance. So the spirits created for vengeance ultimately are sleeper cells. That when they're, let me read that again. It says a group or people, sleepers, which those, those are the, 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 the angels on the left hand side who incom, inconspicuously, let's look at this word inconspicuously, in a inconspicuous manner, so as not to attract attention mm. or appear unusual or out of the ordinary like you said the, the, the jeffy Dahmer analogy you know he's just a regular guy yeah again jim 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 was jim's cool you know he uh, you know he, he he mowed my lawn you know when i was out of town mm -hmm. the whole time he got you know a dungeon and he torturing people he, he, he eating their flesh it's and there's so many uh articles that uh, within uh, different parts of America is like at least 10 maybe 10 a day of some way out judgments that happen you know mom found with the baby's head you know in a, in a refrigerator you know yeah some crazy shit yeah brother brother push you know sister off a 20 story building you know some some crazy shit those, those was those are sleepers it was just a regular day and then boom a group of people, sleepers, who inconspicuously remain dormant in a community until activated. Right, just as the Lord we uh, read in um, uh, read in uh, uh, Ezekiel nine. Right, go through the midst of the city. So that's the community. Right, the city is the the, the community is the city, mm -hmm. remaining dormant. Okay, until active activated by. A prearranged signal. That's the most high saying, all right, go ahead. Go, go, go do go do that. We'll get that job done. And they're not gonna come back empty handed. The job is gonna be completely uh it's gonna be perfect. You're gonna you're gonna prosper. That's what the Lord told that uh the angel, uh what what is that? It's in first Kings uh twenty-three uh, twenty-three. I forget. Um uh, uh, you know the, the the spirit, the the lying spirit that the Lord sent to Ahab. He said, "All right, go ahead, do that." The lying spirit said, I'll, "I'm a I'm gonna be a lying spirit in his province." He said, "All right, you gonna you gonna prosper to perform acts of espionage, sabotage, and or terrorism." Okay, so we're done there. Let's go back. Let's read a little bit more. We'll probably wrap it up. Second Ezra 15 and let me read 16 again. For there shall be sedition among men, was the brother he read that definition. Um, and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, so they're not gonna regard the government, mm -hmm. all right, the, 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 the different uh, authorities, all right. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Look how many people can mobilize, you know, for a George Floyd, uh, you know, uh, protest. Mm -hmm. uh, just think that many people, oh, that many people, you know, uh, with, with ill intentions. Fucking shit up. Look what Jay can do, you know, when, uh, you know, uh, when they want to go mob, mob a store and steal. They can completely destroy a whole department store and loot. So how much more people with ill intentions that were that that when the police come, they 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 look into the to, to get them and to take and to take them out and they and they're gonna and they're gonna have a spirit on. They're not gonna even think about death. They just gonna they just gonna do. They're going to black out and do. That's that spirit overtaking the ass. Okay, for the sword in the, uh, read that, a man, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You also got the 15 minute cities. So within this chaos, Esau, Edom, he's going to be setting up different orders. Okay, these little 15 minute cities, 
okay, where, you know, there's relatively peace within that city. They got a, they got a, a gate, you know, every, everybody is digitally tagged. All right, when there's a, a next event, you're going to have uh, curfews, right? You're not going to be able to go into certain cities without certain uh, documentation, right? Just, they, they try to pull that, they try to pull it, you know, a few years ago. Or why are you in this city? You know, you have documentation. Where's your uh, your immunization card? Let me see. Did you get it? Are you good? So in the in the very near future, if you don't have that MOTB, you're not going to be good. You're going to be looked as a terrorist. You're going to be looked as somebody that can spread uh, a disease. Just like in the, just like in the movies. That's all predictive programming. Okay. A revelation of the method that's all that that is but see that's all prophecy at the end of the day see that's what they're not telling you all these things are are, are were written aforetime for because of their pride the city shall be troubled their houses shall be destroyed you got it and men shall be afraid yep that 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 pride man okay and lifting up yourself against the council of the lord you how about show me how was shy and showing your hatred for the Lord, how about Shem for 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 the way that you despise his men? All we doing is telling you the message, like like the brother read. Uh, he has set a watchman upon his walls, O Jerusalem. This this is this is for you, okay? And 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 and, and you express your hatred toward us, man. And we just we're just the messengers telling you. But you know what? It's it's okay, you know, because we probably we we hate you ten times more. All right, you know. You, As David said, I uh, we hate I hate you with perfect hatred. Mm -hmm. You know, a man shall this is the last verse. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm -hmm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yeah, I had, I had jumped the gun earlier, but th this this was the scripture that it was going into, man. Okay, no nobody ain't that that mind. In the back of your head that, that you may get, you know, so to speak, a, a, a good conscience. Nah, man. Okay, people are just going to be going, in, you know, in, in the lust of their flesh. They already walk in the flesh, you know. So they ain't going to have it, and you going to have it, and they going to run in your house. And if you don't got it, you know, they, they, they still going to run up in there, and they going to take you, you know. And, and whatever else whatever else you got, man. Okay, the, the times that we coming into are going to be bad, man. Okay. That y'all living in y'all living in that la la land, man. You 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 not even knowing what you're about to go through. You're about to go through pure hell, man. Okay. Spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay. Everybody everybody gonna be going through it, but but the ones who are gonna be able to make it out on the other side are the Lord's elect. Okay. And and the believers, man. Okay. Starting with you, men. All right. But that's that's mm -hmm. my question. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's it, unless you got another scripture, brother. Nah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, kind, kind, well, hey, man, you know, we're, we're definitely in that time. You know, we got to stay prayed up, keep your medicine strong, strong, as the apostle, uh, elder Raka says, uh, pray fast if you got to, keep your eyes open, okay, because, hey, we're in that time. All right, until next time, shalom to the elect. Shalom.